so excited for today's video. As you can see by the title, we are installing the bags on the FRS. Finally, they've been sitting in my garage for like over a week now. I've just been so eager to put it on the car. And today's finally the day. So hopefully today we can finish the whole install. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into today's video. <laughs> If you guys missed that install, be sure to check it out. So this is pretty much everything we're working with. I literally just took everything out of the boxes just so I can see what I'm working with. It's always something I love to do before I like work on like something big like bags. But yeah, this is pretty much everything. Kind of a whole bunch of freaking stuff, which kind of makes me nervous, but should be fine. The cool thing is it actually comes with a whole bunch of instructions. So there, more instructions, but we should be good since we did this all on the Mustang before. Yeah, this is a manifold. We got like, I think all the air hoses that we're gonna need. And uh, this is what I was talking about, which is huge uh, dual compressor setup, which I really, really wanted for my car because we did have this on the Mustang. Got the second harness with the main one, the bags. The crazy thing is, is I don't know how we're gonna do the trunk because this air tank is huge. We don't got much to work with because <laughs> I do have this huge subwoofer in here. So we kind of have to like make things work. I'm not too sure yet, but We'll figure it out as we go. My goal for today is to finish the whole install. Like that is the goal. It should be straight because I've worked on this car like so many times. So I pretty much know it like the back of my hand. For now, I think we're gonna strip the interior part. All right, where do I start pulling? Uh, kind of scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> Literally just gonna start pulling anything I see. I don't know if that's a good idea, but oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how to take this apart. <laughs> All right. Dude, I feel like I'm a... This is so scary. Look at this. Look at how filthy, like this is honestly embarrassing to show on camera. Cause this is crazy. So since we trimmed, this is literally the quarter panel. Like right here is where my wheel is. And since we chopped all this for the wide body, look how dirty it is in here. It's literally just dirt full. I didn't get these welded and sealed up for a while. Um, as you can see, there's like actually a hole right there. Um, so dude, all the dirt, all the water com comes in here. And uh, this is crazy on both sides too. <laughs> it is so bad. So I definitely need to clean all this before we put everything back. And um, yeah, I just thought it'd be funny to show you guys because, wow, that is so dirty. I gotta take this big subwoofer off and I'm not gonna remember which wire goes to, so good tip. Take a pic of it so you won't forget. <laughs> Can't get over the homies freaking WRX. 
seriously cannot wait for one. Like, all you guys are asking me, when am I gonna get the WRX? And uh, soon, man, next, this upcoming week, I don't know when you guys are gonna see this video, but I'm gonna start looking for one. What do you think? Should I bag the WRX or should I say static? Thinking about staying static since we're bagging the FRS. But damn, dude, it'd be nice to be aired out like this. As the Eclipse, look how sick this thing is. I know a lot of you guys have WRX that watch the channel. What do you guys think? This thing goes so hard. I seriously cannot wait till I get one. So update on the FRS, it's been probably a few hours now. We got all of the BC Racing coilovers off of the car, that was on the car. I actually um, hammered out these little plastic clips right here, because uh, it's kind of like a known thing for the FRS, that these things like pop your bags when they scrape on it, so went ahead and hammered these out. Now, uh, they're actually wiring uh, the harness through the interior, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the airlift struts onto the car. Full car me going on. <laughs> it's crazy. This thing is so sick, dude. So hard, dude. Love its car. Wheels. <laughs> What's up, dude? Yeah. He has a V Lance, too. Okay, what do you guys think? V1. Damn. Loki makes me miss the V1 kit. It came out perfect. The Fitment was so nice, it came out dude. Gosh. I just love like the, I love everything about it. The duck bill, oh, yeah. the leg sport, dude, looks so good. I, I love the 326 power wheel. The 326 one, really? Honestly, Damn. I like Honestly, I don't really, I don't really like the 326 one in my really? opinion. Yeah, I don't know, a lot of people like that one, but. I was never a wing guy. Yeah? Never, I think this one is so nice oh, I though. I yeah. Two hours later. Man, I'm doing a, such a bad job filming this bag install. Basically just been going at it freaking busted my knuckle but <laughs> got the whole suspension in now i just gotta tighten up a few things but struts are in back ones are in as well and as far as the trunk setup we got the compressors a lot of progress so far we just gotta do the hoses um connect to the battery and then connect the airlines to the struts damn i've been doing a bad job filming this i freaking destroyed my finger it hurts so bad but yeah these are the old coilovers i think these have 80,000 miles or so on them Crazy, they're so dirty. This one's actually blown, the front right one. As you can see, all the oil came off and this thing is absolutely destroyed. Like, you can't even see the threads. But yeah, a lot of people ask if I'm gonna sell these and honestly, like, I don't really wanna sell them cause like, one is blown. But uh, if any of you guys have a use for these, these three are pretty much fine. Like, nothing is wrong with them. Springs are kinda rusted up a little bit, but it just looks like the surface. If any of you guys have a use for these, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, those should be sitting in the garage. Over it. I'm so Hungry. freaking tired. Hungry. Took out the window. Okay. They should be both turning on. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Up and out. Yeah, it sounds different. What did you do? I started doing the calibration yeah, process. idea what's going on. <laughs> I guess it's in calibration mode right now so it's doing its thing the whole system. But it looks like everything's working though. Oh, oh. <laughs> that scares me. 
Damn, that's loud. so fast. Got the bags in as you guys heard the compressors we are driving now honestly super scared to drive this thing because i'm so afraid the front of the front bag clearance because i can barely fit my finger in between the strut tower and the bag we're on the way to get some chipotle as always the go-to i think chipotle is replaced one. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Out, dude that's so insane probably tomorrow morning i'm gonna work on the front as you can tell this is literally like my static height right here definitely gotta adjust the actual bag the bag is like a coilover so you can adjust so when i do air out it'll go lower because the bag preset is like super high right now so just gotta adjust those threads so we can air out much lower and i think the rears are fine because dude that is tucking that's so sick but yeah guys let me know what you guys think still got a lot to do like i said a lot left to do, a lot of adjusting. Still gotta put my whole interior back in. But yeah guys, we got the bags in. This is what my goal was today, was to just throw the bags on and get it working. Super happy with how they came out. Seriously cannot wait to stance this thing out. Add some camber, some stretch tires. So hyped. Literally dreamed to have a bagged FRS. I've waited years to throw bags on. It's just crazy to see a bag now. Real quick before I close off today's video, I just wanted to show you guys my like simple trunk setup that I decided to go with. So I'm not looking to have some type of like show car like type of trunk setup. All I really want is for it to work really and just to kind of like hide a lot of the wires. So this is kind of what I have right now. So we have the dual compressors right here with the manifold right in the middle and uh, kind of have all the airlines tucked in right here. Yeah, this is kind of just like my basic trunk setup. Just both the compressors mounted side by side and uh, I need to put in this piece right here for the trunk so this will sit over this so you really cannot see all of this and uh, i'll just have the tank sitting on top right here kind of just like a temporary setup i'm gonna have the tank just drilled into this uh but i definitely want to do some type of like wood slash alcantara trunk setup still kind of brainstorming ideas for trunk setups if you guys have air suspension and have like a nice trunk setup dm me on instagram some pictures of your trunk setup because i'm kind of still brainstorming on what to do so it would be nice to get some type of inspiration for all the trunk setups out there so yeah, I'll put my Instagram on the screen right here. Feel free to DM me some pictures. Yeah guys, we have a lot to go left, honestly. Uh, like I said, yesterday was kind of just getting everything to work on the car. And these upcoming days, I'm gonna be focusing on like putting everything back together, making stuff look nice, getting the fitment right, because as you can see, this thing is super high. Like this is crazy monster truck. I can probably fit my whole head in there. <laughs> but yeah, sometime in the next few days, I'm gonna be adjusting some fitment, adjusting the bags. But yeah, that is all I have for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the bag install for the FRS. Super exciting to see it on bags. Finally, this has just been a dream of mine to bag this car. Like I said, we have a ton of stuff left to do to the FRS. 
to get this thing sitting right. So stay tuned for that, guys. I hope you all have a good one today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.